We're back with yet another episode of What Is Your Story, and I'm your host. My name is Kabelo Segev Tang, and my guest today is Mokhau Motlanzi. Mokhau, thank you so much for joining me. Only a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I'm going to start by asking you two questions. First, I want to know what you want to say. Secondly, I want to know what you want to say about your life. How did it come about and how old were you? I was born in Mokoto, Mokoto in Limpopo. Uh, Zibudiela, a lot of places don't actually know the place, but Zibudiela, Dinamuning. Mm-hmm. And um, the romance with arts started late in my career, well, in my life actually. Uh, I went to um, a high school where I did drama as a subject and Mr. Stratum, one of the one of the teachers, um, always liked my writing, I guess, and always encouraged me. So, um, writing is nearly nearly drama, or was it poem, or what? No, whatever creative stuff that we would do, you know. So, so whether it's writing a review on a play that we've seen, Koskolong, or um, reviews on each other's work that we've done for school. Uh, or, or just because I mean, we'd, for drama, we'd have to write the script as well. Mm-hmm. So, so, so he always, <laughs> he he always liked it, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I guess um, it was very encouraging for him to, to one day tell me or no, um, he thinks I could go into directing, mm-hmm. and that's when I got into. I decided to go study um, film and television mm-hmm. um, at UJ, mm-hmm. and. Yeah, then okay, I ended up acting. <laughs> like kings would say, when I probably did a law. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. law. I had a scholarship and everything to go study law, get it last minute. You lost an advocate, guys. Sorry. Yeah, but you gained the creative, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. So you guys are currently busy with uh, Kijob, right? Yes. Allow me to say, Jorge, it's a modernization of the biblical story, Saha Job. Mm-hmm. And uh, you guys made it relevant to today, and it's beautifully executed. Thank you. Uh, please tell me more about production, your thing, and then the character that you play. Um, I play a character called Princess, who mm-hmm. is Jobe's wife. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, the production is it's 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 been an amazing journey. We started this. Um, it's written by Deborah mm-hmm. Sungai. Yeah? Um, he actually wrote the script, and they performed it beforehand. And I actually watched the show first at um, the Jobek Theater. Yes, it was mm-hmm. at the Jobek Theater before I became a part of it. And so I'm actually replacing another actress, and she was absolutely amazing. Um, but she couldn't continue for various reasons. And yeah, the production has been great because it's more like a, we, we've workshopped it more than anything else. Um, the director, Dos, has been absolutely amazing um, in allowing us to add our own elements yeah. um, and, and views of the character mm-hmm. um, to, to the story, yeah. you know. And a lot has changed mm-hmm. from the first time I watched it just as an audience member. Obviously, the show keep on growing. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. And I like that for it. it yeah, yeah, change, man, and it and it goes according to where we are. Yeah, you know um, how we've developed with the character. If mm-hmm. you if you, you you know you get to learn the character the mm-hmm. more you play them, mm-hmm. and then you decide, oh, yo, something that I did a while ago might not actually be who this character mm-hmm. is. Getting into somebody's shoes must be like the most difficult thing. Like I'm sure Jorge Albert Papa burning the show before you. Yeah, and now so obviously it comes with criticisms and whatnot. What are people saying? I actually haven't heard anything. Mm-hmm. I've asked. <laughs> um, yeah. I know. I th- like the lady was absolutely amazing. I saw the show. I think uh, three days ago, and mm. it was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, the character. Thank you. Uh, how is the theatre environment compared to television for you? I'm very new to theatre, so this is all. This mm. is me experimenting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is this your first theatre production? This is my first theatre production. I mean, the most I've done is, like I said, I did drama in high school, mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, but so I did like the the the, the school plays, mm-hmm. and we did we had to put on our own um, plays for marks in in high school. 
But other than that, like first pro- like professional play, this is my first time. Wow. This is all very new territory for me. I love it. It's exciting. It's challenging. I do have access to a lot of very seasoned um, theater actors, so they have come to see the show, yeah. and you know, I'm picking their brains on what to yeah. do better and mm-hmm. what to keep the same. So, um, in the year 2011, something great happened. Uh, something that got almost everybody glued to their television screen. <laughs> Skim Sam, it was born, yes. and we got introduced to some of the rose talent, and uh, obviously, by now you were there. Mm-hmm. But I know that it was not your first television production because I remember seeing you on a production. Just don't remember what I did. It's a lot of But I remember you were wearing hoodies and caps, I think. Oh, no. That, Skim Sam was definitely my first production. So that was like the sec- second production? Yeah. Mm-hmm. those uh, Everything else came after. I think um, um, those were like Lockshin Biscops. Yeah, what, yeah, what do you yeah, call yeah, them? Yeah, uh, yeah. Jam Zanzi, though. Yeah, yeah. And... Yeah, because Skim Sum happened in 2011 and then we didn't shoot at all. Because mm-hmm. at the time, I thought it was still a drama series. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was shooting at Olga 2012 mm-hmm. and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, such a great opportunity. Yeah. And I got into acting mm-hmm. by mistake, actually, because I wanted to direct. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And someone was like, look, you might as well, mm-hmm. this is a petty show, yeah. so you might as well try your luck as, as and an I think actor. With, with directing, you have to understand the actors first. Exactly, corner, yeah. You know. Yeah. You be a, a congregate member before you become a <laughs> member. Exactly. So tell me about the experience ever since then, uh, 2011 up to today. Uh, I think it, 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 it changed the course of my life a lot, actually, mm-hmm. because um, I've always been very talkative. Yeah. Um, and I've always been able to give my opinion. Mm-hmm. But because of this platform, yeah, the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and how big Skim Sum is. Yeah, like yeah, I yeah, still yeah. sometimes I still can't wrap my head around and how how people mm. love the show. Mm. But now it's given me an opportunity to actually talk as mm. well. So I go give um, motivational talks to schools. Yeah. I MC. I do things mm. that I never thought mm. I would mm. do. Mm. You know. So I mean, initially. Exactly. Yeah. So so my range is growing mm. as well. So, um, yo, it's been an amazing journey. I'm learning so much more about myself. Yeah. Um, I'm taking my own writing more seriously because I kind of mm-hmm. initially I wanted to be a director I still want to be a director yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. why I said hey, my life has mm-hmm, gone a little bit of course mm-hmm. oh, yeah, good day. <laughs> no, mm. but um, now if I, I am I'm able to write from an actor's perspective mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. and how someone would play something mm-hmm. um, and how I would want it yeah. as a writer and as a director mm-hmm. so I feel like it's given me so much more of a range and a mm. I could say, man, it's been it's yeah. it's literally been an amazing journey that continues to to change me, mm-hmm. to grow me, to test me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's been it's been incredible. I wouldn't change it for the world. So, had you been a director and got to the market to let me know? Hey, I read. See, maybe <laughs> yeah. maybe God would have, was gonna make me start as a director, and yeah. then you know, and then from there, and then from there go to acting. <laughs> because there's, I mean, it 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 happens so often, like. Mm-hmm. Like people interchanging or going um, yeah, yeah. through to different mm-hmm. uh, uh, um, positions, you yeah. know. So okay, some people start a, a director, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Some people start from directing to acting or directing to cinematography or to production. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you need to be versatile. Like yeah. I mean, I know a lot of actors. Unfortunately, this industry, mm-hmm. so I know a lot of um, people especially actors have to do more than one thing. Exactly. So a lot of people will either do um, TV and theater, mm-hmm. a lot of people will do um, TV and or theater yeah. or acting in general, mm-hmm. um, along with uh, um, you know a business on the side yeah, 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 yeah. or just doing something else within mm-hmm. the industry, whether it's directing. Good because of, as an actor, sometimes you go for like, uh, sitting yeah. like yeah. and stuff. Yes. So you gotta be able to market your brand, use Exactly. Mapiti has become part of your life for almost like six or seven years right yeah. now. Uh, do you think there are some similarities between Mohau and Mapiti, or are you guys like totally different people? Uh, was that in the beginning? Mm. We were very, very different characters, yeah. very different people. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
I, I took some advice from someone and I tried to make Mabizi completely different from me. Mm-hmm. Mabizi is a very girly girl mm-hmm. um, and Orata Bodhi, I mean, if you remember in the story, she did a, a modeling, a pageant, yeah, the that, face that, that, of turf. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, not really, but yeah, yeah. she did that early on in, in the story. Yeah. And I'm not like that. Yeah. So I'm not for pageants. Mm-hmm. I'm not for... You know, um, I wasn't very girly so girly at all. So you're saying from Mabitiwa, no, uh, the one who's pursuing career, how I get into, is it journalism? Yes, and, uh, that's, more, that's like more like you. Yes, mm-hmm. that's, that's more like me, actually. Yeah. But at the same time, I've, I I have so much respect for Mabitiwa because mm. she's the reason I gave, mm. you know, all these things like pageants and yeah. beauty and mm. um uh, everything else like a chance. Yeah. Before I was just like, ah, it's not my thing. Make it a tomboy. Make it a so shout. Tomorrow's the last day of the show, Joe. Yes. So what's next for Mahal? What's next? I want to focus on my writing, mm-hmm. and hopefully you'll be seeing um, a production of mine on stage um, soon. So you're going for theatre. <laughs> Yes, I'm uh-huh. going for theater. Uh, you, it, it just takes a lot longer with, with television, television, you know, because yeah, yeah. channels and all of that. Mm-hmm. I would love to I would yeah. love to, to put together um, a short film. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got the scripts. Mm-hmm. It's just I wanna with, with film and television mm-hmm. the funding. Mm-hmm. No, who yeah. expensive. Yeah. To hire equipment, to hire the crew, mm-hmm. to do all of that stuff, mm-hmm. it's very expensive. Whereas yeah. with with theater it's a lot more um, easier to start because mm-hmm. you've got a script you've got the actors yeah you know mm-hmm. and from there you guys work on it until mm-hmm. you're ready to put it on production speaking of theater you feel like Jorge, uh, people are supporting theater the way they should no they should i don't think mm-hmm. they, they they're supporting it the way they should i think people can support more mm-hmm. like i mean if you look at the history of theater um yeah. how it, it's played such a huge role mm-hmm. in the liberation of our people exactly. from mm-hmm. apartheid and yeah. And I don't think we give it enough credit, okay, hey. Like Bands, yes, yeah, you so know. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so and so I honestly feel like theatre needs a lot more recognition. And you know, there isn't enough money put into theatre, yeah. into into the, the arts. I mean yeah. we do so much look, it, I'm not throwing shade to, to, to sports or anything mm-hmm. like that, but our our theatre practitioners are mm. so great that they are world renowned yeah you know they are known across the world mm. um but there isn't enough money put into the actual mm-hmm. arts mm-hmm. to to help grow more amazing yeah. people and then later i complain when we see a great legend dying Alibro. exactly how did this happen because we're not supporting our own people exactly and it's not Hore, it's not Hore Babar Chalete unwisely mm-hmm. or anything like the that money was not there. the money was not there to yeah. begin with like the amount of money and i'm not saying Hore, there isn't money put into the arts yeah i'm just saying it's not enough it's not for enough. what the arts can actually achieve mm-hmm. you know with the right amount of funding with the right vision and direction mm-hmm. i think the arts can can very obviously and clearly put south africa on yeah. the world map already obviously it's I mean, already like, on the world like, map people tell about on every day yeah what's your definition of faith and then how much i think the most simple way to put it believing is seeing mm-hmm. um I, I think I go in life knowing, not knowing or a dilo dilo di agala juang or kuto kre juang into ke nya kang bar gatse or kuto kre and a garapel or kuto kre and somehow yeah. um, things work out, yeah. you know. And even if it's not necessarily what I wanted, mm-hmm. um, things always work out for the best. Yeah. You know, it's as if uh, the Honal Mutimo is in horror. Okay, actually, I actually have a root. Exactly. Because sometimes the Dilogero de Nyakang are not the best mm-hmm. for us. Yeah. And we need to be able to say, okay, this is something that I want mm-hmm. and I didn't get it. Do I fight yeah. what God has given me or mm-hmm. what God has taken away? Or do do I make the best of the situation? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think I'm, I'm slowly learning to make the best of the situation, yeah, even yeah. though sometimes I have conversations with God and I'm like, but why don't yeah, you want yeah, to give yeah. me what I yeah, want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then after a while, you're like, oh God, thanks for keeping yeah, that away from me. <laughs> that thing was not good for me. Exactly. Yeah. So faith, oh, it's a big part of my life, hey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, like in so many industries, uh, a lot of people complain that uh, women get less paid. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to know how a more more industry me at the same time. I still like think it's the same. Uh -huh. I honestly still think, think that it's the same. Underpaid. Yes, mm -hmm. I think women are underpaid. We're under um, valued. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just I just feel like there's this. We're still living in a very patriarchal society. Yeah. And. You know, even when you you, you you can see it in the difference when yeah. there's a female director mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and and a male director, yeah. how people respond. And mm -hmm. yes, you can easily say, oh, no, it's just the person. But yeah. uh -huh. we need to acknowledge the fact that sometimes, yeah. uh -huh. sometimes, um, you know, gender does play a role mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In, in, in how people are treated. Um, I've just, I, I don't know, like, I feel like a lot of people feel like they can take more advantage of women than they can of yeah. men. yeah. Um, and they do that in terms of getting work in mm -hmm. this industry a lot of women are still um, expected to give sexual favors yeah, exactly yeah. and mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen for men yeah I'm just saying Gore it's a lot more for women it's 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 a lot more in your face for yeah. women you know uh -huh. mm. Mal, I'd really love to continue this conversation <laughs> I feel like there's so much to learn from you uh, but I'm gonna ask you the last thing. Uh, mm -hmm. There's probably a young girl out there, a lot of other talent there. Uh, she feels like she should be a director, she should be a writer, uh, but she feels like she's not mm -hmm. being recognized. I just want you to give that young girl an advice. Okay, so to you, young girl, I would say don't give up. If this is what you want and it's what you love and what you're passionate about, use everything else to make this dream come true um like i said i still have a dream to be a director i am going to use the acting the emceeing everything at my disposal to make sure my directing dream comes true so whatever it is that you want to do in your life whether it's be an actor or a director or a lawyer don't let um other people tell you that you can't number one and also don't wait for someone to make the opportunity for you make your own opportunity even if it means getting work in another field to find the the thing that is your passion do that just don't give up okay last thing is social media accounts oh wow um <laughs> uh, i think instagram kimogao pm or morao underscore pm one of the two yeah uh, and twitter is the same morao pm or morao underscore pm and Facebook, which I'm not on that much, but I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm trying to get back into Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook is Morao Bolina Mokhlantui. There are a few fake accounts out there, guys. So, <laughs> just be careful. Don't send people yeah. money. And don't... <laughs> don't send people money. Oscar, <laughs> hey, ke Morao, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Uber. No. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. She's a writer, she's an actress. And she has a brighter future ahead of her. Don't give up, young king, young queen. We're signing out. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Personal dialogues with Kabelo Segev Khan. Signing out. Yep, 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 yep.